Hi. I would like to start with a statement. Movement is a basic human need. With this thought, I would like to introduce you to a series of short movements which I developed during our lockdown when I started to teach online on Zoom. And I actually continue to develop them when we were allowed for a short time to work face to face because I noticed that we are becoming more sedentary. We don't move enough. And many of us, me included, spend too many hours in front of the screen. And I'm not sure it's that good for us. My aim is to create meaningful aerobic movements. These are swings based on the principles of the Alexander Technique. You will notice that I use monkeys and lunges in a dynamic and also rhythmic way, always with inhibition and direction. And we must repeat these two words to ourselves all the time, I think. These movements are meant to take, a, to take a break from what we are doing, to really stop. And um, this by itself needs some inhibition. I would like uh, to say a few words about safety. First of all, um, you don't need much room and uh, you don't need equipment, big suit to wear comfortable clothes, uh, make sure that the floor is without obstacles, no clutter, and that you just have enough room to move your arms about while you're standing. Um, some words about our personal safety. Please don't do any movement if it causes you pain. And stop also if you are uncomfortable. If there are any serious health problems, uh, such as heart disease, I think that it's better to consult a doctor because I don't know if any desire, it is at all desirable for people with heart problems to perform aerobic movements. Now, I would like to list the five movements that I intend to demonstrate. Each one of them is a session on its own. The first one I call basic ideas about swing and spiral movement. The second one is swinging forward and back with circles. The third one is variation on the figure eight. The fourth is the long swing, with which I guess most of us are familiar. But again, it's not the what, but the how, uh, which matters. And the fifth is a warm up session, which is not at all aerobic, just at the usual, no, at a norm, what I would think a normal pace. 
and each one of them lasts about five minutes, but you can make them shorter or longer as you want by repetition or by cutting down. It's just really up to you. And eventually, I hope that if you wish, you will choreograph your own sequences and there is no end to the possibility. Take whatever you want, any element with which you feel more comfortable. Um, make it yourself and enjoy. The name of this movement is swing with spirals. But before we start to move, let us first organize ourselves. We'll start with noticing our feet underneath, underneath our hip joints and we'll take our thoughts to the neck to let it be free, to let the head go forward and up to let the back lengthen, widen and deepen. And at the thought, eyes back and apart. What I mean is that we look towards the horizon and we find something interest, that we are interested in to look at, but at the same time, we are aware of the panoramic view. We allow the whole panorama to come to us. We don't try, we just allow from up, down, all the directions, even behind us, our presence in the world on earth. And now we'll take our thoughts to the knees and we will add to the thought the action so they will start to send them forward and away and we'll think about sending them from the back we are coming to sort of a little monkey and from now we can start our movement maintaining all these thoughts with us. So I'll change my position a little bit and turn with my right foot forward and I bring my right arm behind my back and I'll explain it to you later but for the time being I'm just asking you also to put your hand behind your back. Now we transfer ourselves to the front and we take ourselves back to the back and it's up to come forward and up to come back. And sometimes it's up to come forward and up and up and up to come up and back. And now I'm going to bring my left arm into the activity. And you will notice that I follow my hand with all the time. I make a shape of a circle. And you also notice that my hand on my back tells me not to interfere with it, not to create any unnecessary pressure on the lower back, and to let the movement just flow. In a natural way, I bring it to a little bit fast, faster, I continue with it quite fast and when I'm moving with a little bit faster my, the activity in my feet is slightly different and I continue to look at my hands and very slowly I start, or gradually rather, I start to lower it, slower it, make it slower and before the last one, I take it up in a big circle and 
I'm ready to change. So I'm coming here. I give myself a mo just a minute to reorganize. Neck, head, back, eyes, and knee. My left hand is now resting on my lower back. I transfer myself to the front and to the back, to the front and to the back. And I now start to bring the arm into the movement. I follow it. You have to trust me that I'm following it and I am aware of the whole of the panoramic view around me. I make it a little bit faster and a little bit faster and then my body is changing a little bit, adjusting itself to the speed of the movement. Ooh. And now I start to slow it down again. And I end up with a slow circle, bring it down, keep my feet together to say thank you.